I think it's about time we got underway with the shopping district. And so I've enlisted a little bit of help from the other members of the server. You, you, you can totally throw your potion now if you're going to do it. <laughs> Smoke bomb! Uh, yeah, woo! <laughs> I mean, because, you know, that wasn't planned at all. <laughs> Now it's been a couple of days since I recorded the last clip and I'm hoping that if we go back through into the shopping district there'll be a little bit more to see. Here goes. Okay, we we'll take a step out, have a look around and oh look at the oh my lord. God the server has been busy. This looks amazing. I love this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my lord, it's, it's an iron golem holding a rocket. This is this is amazing. What's in here? Is there anything being sold yet? Uh, two stacks for a diamond. Rockets. Oh, it's a rocket shop. That's that's really cool. I really like that. And then if we check out the other side. Oh, oh okay. I, I think that's just where people have been building. Ah, bottles of enchanting as well. What an amazing looking store. I love that. And then we've got this amazing looking bridge over here. Very medieval. I really like the look of this. In fact, actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to build my wood shop, which is actually going to be like a medieval style sawmill, probably over here by the river next to it, because I think that'll be a really nice addition. And that leaves whatever this thing is over here. That's okay. Oh, this must be the beginnings of the tavern. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, okay. This is cool. I really like how this is all coming together. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm going to be building a wood shop, which is probably a somewhat stupid idea considering the amount of wood that everybody helped clear in order to make this space available. But hey ho, we live and learn. And yeah, as I also mentioned, I'm going to build it in the style of a sawmill. So let's get to it. And there we go, the sawmill build is now finished, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think this thing looks absolutely awesome. Like, I love it. I love the little wheel on the side. I love the little shelter thing that comes down. Like, this is definitely probably one of my better builds. Also, because obviously I've realised that nobody actually will use the walk-in entrance, I've built a window for people to be able to fly through. So if we just give that a quick test, because I'm not sure how much of an experienced fly you have to be. Oh, it's coming in hot. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. <laughs> so if we take a little look around, we've got the four types of logs that we're selling up here on this little platform. And then if we work our way down, we've got a log which is sitting on an axle being turned by the uh, the wheel outside in the water, the mill. Uh, and that's obviously linked to the first one. And it goes out through this little uh, iron, iron bar fence. This is obviously for safety. 
because safety is very important. And if we look through the other side, you can see there are some saws which cut the logs and put them out into this area over here. And while I'm incredibly happy with how this has turned out, it has made me aware of something that I want to change rather quickly. See, if we take a look in the ender chest, I've got loads of shulker boxes from our end visit, but this isn't organised and there's, there's nothing in them. So the next thing I really want to work on is sorting out my ender chest. And we're going to start this task by locating a flower forest like this so we can get hold of plenty of dyes so we can colour code our boxes and also because one of the boxes in my ender chest is going to be filled with dyes so we can colour things like glass, wool and concrete. Now we just need to gather a serious amount of flowers in order to make lots of dye. Although I have also realised it doesn't even actually need to be a flower forest biome, although that's great for gathering some of the additional colours, all the primary stuff, or most of the primary stuff you can gather literally just by being in a plains. And also some squid in order to get black dye. So I've got my looting sword and hopefully this shouldn't take us too long. And now that I've got plenty of different dyes, I've been able to dye the shulker boxes in my ender chest and use the levels that I had in order to rename them. So we will have various different shulker boxes containing various different items ready for, well, whenever I need them, really. They are, however, for now at least, all empty. So we should probably get to work on actually filling them. Starting with box number one, essentials. In that, we're going to place some backup gear. Also, a pumpkin head for when we visit the end, some shears, a flint and steel, a hoe, and basically anything we're going to use on a regular basis or that is going to prove useful. So the end result for now of the essentials box looks like this. So we've got, like I said, backup gear, various other tools and items, and there's a few spaces left, and those are going to be for a beacon, conduit, sponges, and a couple of other items as well as and when we come across them. Box number two is rockets, which is, well, self-explanatory and already done, which brings us on to the third box, which is for building. And for this box, we are going to want plenty of scaffolding. So in order to get that scaffolding, I've set up a very small and very manual bamboo plantation at the bottom of the deep slate cavern here. And we'll have to wait for that to grow, but the rest of the box, as you can probably guess by the name, is going to contain lots of items that are going to be useful when building. So water for infinite water sources, lily pads and vines for and ladders and stuff to be able to go up and down. And of course stone cutters in order to save on the number of resources we're using. And that brings us nicely onto our next boxes, which is redstone, which we're going to skip for now because I definitely don't want to tackle that. So that goes to ores and valuables, of which we do not have very many, or at least nothing that I want to take away from sort of the communal chest area that I'm sharing with Erica Janey. I've already moved some diamonds into the diamond slot, so these are definitely hers. So it looks like we're going to skip this one as well and move straight on to lighting. And I have eight, eight torches. <laughs> a grand total of eight torches. Amazing. So the plan for this will be, of course, to add later on lanterns, glowstone, sea lanterns, shroom lights, jack-o'-lanterns, sea pickles, end rods, uh, stuff for candles, uh, maybe moss carpet as well to, you know, cover up floors. But anything pertaining and to do with lighting, it's going in this box. Or, you know, at least it will be. When, when I have it. And I think you're going to start to recognise there's a bit of a theme here because our next box is potions and I'm pretty sure, yeah, once again, um, quite limited on the potion front. So I don't really want to be taking any more out of uh, the communal chest. I have, however, already covered the next box, which is dyes. The only addition that you guys should know about is that in order to complete that, other than running off into the flower biomes, I did set up this small area here with some coca beans just so that I could get brown dye. Next up we have wood, which again should be much more successful. We're going to place in saplings for each of the different woods that we've got. The only trouble is in terms of logs is that I did put most of my stock into my store, which probably isn't great. And then we're going to fill the rest up basically with bone meal, I think. Well, sort of fill it up anyway. 
As for stone, we're also going to struggle slightly because most of the stone resources are being used for Erica Janie's floating islands, but that's nothing that the stone generator shouldn't be able to fix at some point later. And that brings us to Deep Slate, which isn't too bad, other than the fact that we sold most of the stock that we had to Cap. Also, because like me with the wood, Erica Janie has decided to sell most of the stock in a new store in the shopping district. So, uh, yeah, this is this is where most of the deep slate went. Hey! <laughs> Hello, Zeppy. Well, well, well. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, uh. <laughs> there you are. You're right. It's funny, actually. I was just flying over here to say how we're selling most of our stock and I don't have anything to put into my ender chest. And I realised that um, you've been doing some rather excellent looking work over on the tavern, mate. Haven't you? Oh, stop it, you. No, you it's beautiful. It. It's beautiful, mate. I I also thoroughly agree with the captain's assessment that you switching out the colour at the top for white looks so much cooler. Also, the chimney looks awesome, man. Does it go all the way up as well? Sorry, I'm going to have to take a little peek inside, see what's going on. Oh, I see some of the banners have gone up already. I'm yet to supply you with one. It'll. Uh, I might move them because I've made a, uh, a round table. <coughs> Decorate with something. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic well, sign! I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's my notes, yeah. <laughs> and then this I assume is, this is the this is the table, right, for the meetings. This is this is the draft of the table. I might. No, you know, I like it, dude. That. I like it. And after that welcome distraction from Zeppi, let's get back to our ender chest boxes. Next on the list, variation and detailing. And inside of here, we're going to chuck all manner of variations of stone and things like that so that we can add a little bit of variation and detail into our builds. And for now, that's going to look a little something like this. Next up, we've got concrete, which is basically just going to be a bunch of sand and gravel, and also a cauldron and a bucket of water. This is because we have a data pack on the server that allows us to turn concrete powder into concrete by chucking it into a cauldron full of water. Not quite vanilla, but it does save us a huge amount of time of just basically stacking up concrete powder into water and then mining it back down again. That brings us on to glass and wool for our currently very limited amounts of uh, glass and wool. <laughs> and finally, that brings us on to the nether box and the end box. I say finally, even though there's another six boxes remaining, because those six boxes, which are tagged with my name, are actually going to be project boxes. So these are going to contain just additional resources that I need that is not in all of the other boxes already, or just for transportation of large amounts of items and things like that. Or, for instance, if I go mining and then find that I run out of inventory space and I need to store it somewhere, I can just chuck it in one of these. So we've got nether stuff for the nether box and end blocks and some ender pearls for the end box. I think it's fair to say there's still a lot of stuff missing from these boxes. I am under no illusion that we are not fully prepped and ready to go. However, I don't really want to spend any more time going through the boxes in my ender chest. To be honest, I'm quite happy to tackle that in between episodes in my own time. So instead, I've come to the tavern in the shopping district to make my player banner. See, every player on the server has been allocated a colour, just like it was done in Season 2. Only this time round, Zeppi came up with a pretty cool idea, which is that we should all create our own banners. And after taking a look at what the others have been doing and what kind of colours and stuff that they've been working with, and some extensive googling, I've got a design. Now, I've never actually played with banners before, I don't think, in um, the time I've been Minecrafting, and I have to admit, it's actually pretty cool. Like, you can do some really fancy stuff. Mine, however, probably isn't going to be that fancy, but hopefully it'll do the job. And this is what I've gone for. It's pretty simple, but I've gone for white rather than black in terms of the background, because I've noticed that some of the others have kind of already gone for the darker colours. And then I've gone for a dark blue to a light blue accent, because my colour is the dark blue, and Erica Janie's is the light blue, and we're working sort of as a team this season. Plus, I think it gives it a nice little bit of variation. And aside from the fact that it's propped up against the white wall or background, I still think it pops pretty well. And I'm going to make a second one so that I can also have a super fancy shield. Yes! <laughs> Look at my shield! Oh, I really like this. The mobs are going to be running scared now. 
But that's all we've got time for, so I'll catch you in the next episode. So as we know, you're a man of marvels. It's uh, amazing. Yes. Zones. You like to push the game to the boundary, don't you? I, I am. I am amazing. I do like to push the game to the boundaries. I do indeed. What would you do if I said for just one diamond you could have an item that has never existed in Minecraft before? That sounds very intriguing. I would very much like to pay you a diamond. Just one diamond for the uh, the item that's not existed just, in the game before? Just the one. Just the one diamond. That's that. Yes, I would. I think we, I'll take you up on that offer. I now just need to find where the diamonds are. Oh yeah, I put them in a very valuables chest. I mean, to be honest, you could have just nicked it. <laughs> okay, one diamond. Good so, sir. An for for an diamond. item in Minecraft, that is the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. Indeed, right. Okay. Are you okay. ready, sir? Okay. Oh, so I even get to see it before a purchase. Hello. <gasps> Okay, okay, that is so cool. Right, so you may. Come oh no, I legitimately love that. <laughs> that I legitimately love that. Now, 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 now. Not only is it Rubik's cube, but if you jump three times, it does solve itself. Wait, what? Okay, no, you have two. You have two. <laughs> One, One diamond. diamond. Best item in the game. Deal.